This video would be to help uh, you guys in solving problems that are based on the mole concept and specifically based on the number of particles, the volume of a gas, and the mass of a substance. So, so I have here, I have here a a diagram that I that I wrote out just before this video, which just suggest, which just gives you sort of the 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 entire summary of this video. So, so let's say you have you have the number of particles that uh, of the matter that you have, and if you divide it, if you divide it by 6.022 into 10 to the power 23, you get the number of moles of that particle. So just like if you have, let's say, 36 bananas, 36 bananas, and you divide it by 12, you get three dozens. You get three dozens. In the same way, in the same way, mole is just like a dozen, just it's a really, really big number. So in the same way, you divide the number of particles by 6.022 into 10 to the 23, and you get the number of moles. Similarly, similarly, uh, you take the volume of a gas at STP. You take volume of a gas at STP, and what's STP? So STP is just 0 degrees Celsius and 1 bar of pressure. So at this, at this point, uh, this temperature and pressure, so-called the standard temperature pressure, the volume of one mole of gas is 22.4 liters. So if you take the volume of gas and you divide it by 22.4 liters, you get the number of moles. Similarly, we know that we know that the molar mass is the mass of one mole. One mole's mass is the molar mass. So if you have the actual mass and you divide it by the molar mass, you get the number of moles. And similarly, you can do the inverse of it. You can, you can do multiplication. You can multiply moles by these quantities to get whatever you want to get. So instead of just, uh, just moving around with these values, with these, with these expressions, let's, let's solve a few problems. Let's solve a few problems. So, so let's take, let's take one mole of oxygen gas. Now, one mole of oxygen gas, oxygen is a diatomic molecule. That means it has it has two two molecule two atoms within one molecule. So, so one mole of O2 just is equivalent to saying two moles of oxygen atom of oxygen atom since since each each oxygen atom has since each oxygen atom comprises of half the molecule that is one o2 molecule contains two oxygen atom then one dozen oxygen molecule contain two dozen oxygen atom similarly one mole oxygen molecule will co contain two moles of oxygen atoms now you can convert you can convert the number of moles of oxygen atom into the number of particles of oxygen atom yet that you need to make one mole of O2. So so you have the number of moles, you have the number of moles, and you want to you want to figure out the number of particles. So you multiply. You multiply by 6.022 times 10 to the 23. So you multiply 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And and by multiplying you get 12.044 into 10 to the 23. And since you have to express every, all of your answers in the scientific notation, the de facto notation, you would write this as 1.2044 into 10 to the power 24. Just to make sure it's in scientific notation. So you need this many, this many oxygen atoms to make a mole of oxygen diatomic gas you can you can do similar you can uh, do the same thing for mass as well so let's take let's take a uh, calcium carbonate represented at CaCO3 and let's find out let's find out how many moles how many moles of CaCO3 or how many particles let's say lie in 10 grams of CaCO3 so you you have the you have the mass you have the mass and you want to figure out the number of particles the number of particles 
So let's go again back to the chart. And in this chart, you see you have the mass divided by the molar mass. You get the moles. And once you get the moles, you multiply it with the Avogadro number, and then you get the number of particles of matter. So the mass is 10 gram. The mass is 10 gram. And you divide it, you divide it by the molar mass. So let's let's figure out the molar mass. The molar mass. So the molar mass, you will just look up at the periodic table, and these values are usually given to you. Uh, so for calcium, the atomic weight is 40. 40. For for carbon, for carbon, the atomic weight is 12. So 12. And for oxygen, for oxygen, the atomic weight is 16. But since there are three, three oxygen atoms in one molecule of calcium carbonate, there would be three times 16. Three times 16 would be the contribution of oxygen into the molar mass. And once you do that, you get 100 grams, 100 grams per mole. Since you're taking the molar mass, it just represents the grams per mole. So you write the molar mass here. You, you take this entire value of 100 grams per mole and you solve for it. So grams cancel gram, zeros get canceled, and you have 0 0.1 moles, 0 0.1 moles. And once you have moles, now, so now you have the moles with you and you want to figure out the number of particles of matter, you multiply by the Avogadro number. So you, you multiply it, you multiply 0 0.1 moles times 6.022 into 10 to the 23 molecules, molecules per mole. Per mole. Since mole doesn't change, the, the dozen doesn't change whether it's a banana or an elephant. Similarly, the mole doesn't change whether it's an atom or a molecule. So the mole cancel mole. And so 0 0.1 multiplies with this to give you 6.022 remains the same. But 0 0.1 times 10 to the 23 gives you 10 to the power 22 molecules. That's great. That's, that's really nice. You can you can continue you can you can continue talking about this. So let's take let's take a, an example relating volume to the number of particles. So let's say you have you have 89.6 liters of carbon dioxide gas at zero degrees Celsius and 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 one bars of pressure. In this case, in this case, I want to figure out the the mass of the mass of carbon dioxide. So let's go back to let's go back to the chart. So you have the volume. You start with the volume, and mole si sort of lies in the intermediate of that. So you divide the volume by 22.4. You get the number of moles. And to figure out the mass, you multiply it with the molar mass of CO2, that's the molecule we are considering, to get to the actual mass. So, so we have, this, this entire thing is just STP, by the way, standard temperature pressure. So we have 89.6 liters, and you divide it by 22.4 liters per mole. And once you divide it, you get a nice number, that's 4 moles. 4 moles. And now to convert 4 moles into the mass, you have to multiply by the molar mass. By the molar mass. So again, let's figure out the molar mass of CO2. So C is 12 and O is 16. C is only 1, but O is 2. So there are 2 atoms of oxygen. So 2 into 16, and that equals 44. And this is 44 grams per mole, 44 grams per mole. So, so the weight, the mass of this, uh, this CO2 gas, not weight, the mass, would be equal to 4 moles times 44 grams per mole. So mole cancels mole. And this is equal to, if you, if you do the calculation right, you would arrive at 176 grams, 176 grams. 
So, so it's all unitary method. It's it's nothing. It's nothing more than the unitary method. Hopefully, this chart helps you remember it, and I guess that that accounts for a nice introduction to interconvert between the number of moles, volume, and the mass. And I'll see you in the next video.